做这本书，付出了我们生命的健康的代价。但是，为了留给后人这本厚重的史料和至今宝贵的难忘经历，我觉得这是值得的。In the 1960s, Yang Yongqing headed to Xinjiang, despite the opposition from her family. 我到了新疆以后，我要求到农场去。我到新疆来就是搞农业，这是国家的需要。During her 34 years there, she had refused to get promoted as an administrative leader of higher departments several times. She stood fast in the front line and occupied herself in promoting agricultural technologies. Now, getting back to Shanghai, Yang Yongqing suffered from stomach problems, but she still collected tens of thousands of photos of educated youth at that time in Xinjiang with her friends and made the photo book of Shanghai educated youth in Xinjiang. These precious photos recorded the struggle of the educated youth at that time. The huge amount of work of verifying, sorting, and editing forced these elderly people to learn to use computers from scratch. On August 19, 2020, at the premiere of the album, the heavy album evoked memories of these old educated youth, defying the trouble of illness. Yang Yongqing cracked a long lost smile on sight. From 年轻的时候就到了边疆，对国家的热爱，对边疆的热爱，都凝聚在我们这一代人的身上了。所以这种品格磨练，这是我们人生最大的财富。